So what I'd like to tell you about in this video is cratering, and in particular we'll look at cratering on the moon. Cratering is one of these things that the solar system has just has a rich history of happening in, and it still happens even today. And what the issue is, is that in the solar system, there's just stuff flying around. And I'll just say that there isn't as much flying around anymore, but something like, let's say, uh, 4.5 billion years ago, when the solar system was forming, there was a lot of these things flying around. And the solar system was a very messy and dangerous place with all these errant rocks and bits of asteroids and comets floating around. And so they're sort of called, uh, before they'd hit, when they're sort of in outer space, they're called meteoroids. But then when they hit, they're called meteorites. Meteorites. Let me clean it up just a tad bit here. Meteorites. So the name kind of changes just a tad bit when they actually hit the surface of a planet or moon, and they're called meteorites. So generally what we're talking about here is something that was flying around that ends up hitting flying around as a meteoroid and ends up hitting the surface and becomes a meteorite. So the question I'd like to discuss in this video is sort of what happens when it impacts like that. And of course, as you might guess, a huge hole uh, results when this impact happens. And so with the otherwise flat surface now is going to have a huge hole in it like that. Um, the, meteor the meteorite itself is most likely going to be gone because it has to give up a lot of energy when it comes in here and stops and strikes the planet like that and so we can sort of maybe get some of its color but say it's just going to be basically splattered and all mixed in with the with the otherwise original surroundings of where it struck so something like that but there'll be a big hole there and the holes of course are what the craters are huge, huge crater like this they're all over many planets many moons they're all over the earth some of them are under the ocean but there's evidence that this sort of thing just happened a lot a long time ago and as I said still happens from time to time now um, and so we'll look at that dynam dynamics of craters, but generally what you see is this sort of some interesting things here. You usually see really high berms right here, edges like that on the side, I guess we'll call them berms. And then the ejected can come out like this. You see a lot of splatter things just fly for just way, way, way far away from the crater. And so let's just take a look at that. And so it turns out that the way, one way of studying craters sort of on Earth or in a laboratory in a way that doesn't kill everyone is to say drop heavy objects into sand. These are very popular labs for upper division students and even some things that are done in research labs. So let me show you one of those running now. So I'll turn this off. Here we go. So here you can see basically the sand that we're talking about. You can see all the sand sitting there and it's nice and smoothened over and stuff. And what I'll do now is I'll just grab the scrub bar at the bottom and start running this. And what you'll see is a metal ball falling from the top. Let me start out just a little bit. See, there's the metal ball right there. You sort of see it coming in, okay? There's the metal ball. It's a little blurred because of the camera. So I'll keep going forward now. And here's, here's the way the crater works. Let me just let you watch, and then we'll talk about it. So, so blam, oh, right there. It just hits right in there. Look at all that stuff coming out, flying out like that, and off it goes. And it all settles and scatters. And then you see sort of that, well, I guess kind of beautiful crater sitting there. So you can see the berm that I was talking about, and also hope you can visualize where all that ejectant went when it came out. So let me just run it a couple times. Ooh, backwards. It's kind of cool, too. Let me just run it so you can see it here. Here it comes. There we go. Let me run one more time. It's just really cool to watch these things. And hope you can just use your imagination and imagine you know, what, what would happen if something like this hit a planet where that that ejected that flew out was as big as a state or something like that. It just would be massive devastation, you know. And again, it does happen from time to time. And there's reasons to think that it'll happen again, even on Earth here. But anyway, that's sort of the sand analysis right there. And so let me go back to the iPad now and show you... few slides. So I'd like to do a little geosleuthing on the moon with you. Here's the way it'll work. You know what the moon looks like by now. I've shown you a few pictures of it and we see all of the beautiful maria, the dark spots, all the old volcanic flows and all the, the whites, the higher sort of lighter spots. And you can see that the moon, moon is just very, very heavily cratered all over the place like this. And so, and this is evidence again that maybe four and a half billion years ago, the solar system was a very messy place 
with these meteoroids flying all over the place, and the moon was just hammered. But there's no reason just to pick on the moon because the moon um, is just one of many non-distinct bodies in the solar system, and so it was hammered, but so was the Earth, and so was Mars, and so was every planet. But the issue with the moon here is that there's, um, there's no geology on the moon, no active geology on the moon. The moon is kind of geologically dead. And so there's no wind or rain or erosion or anything like that that would tend to smoothen over these craters and make them go away. So some of these craters are probably very old. And the reason why the moon is so, so cratered and so pocked like that is because nothing is there to ever erase the craters. No plate tectonics and that sort of thing that we'll talk about later on. But that's why the craters sort of persist like that. So in the next video, we'll move on.